from California, Representative Tom McClintock. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. We've had previous members of the committee, particularly on the Democrat side, say those 10 instances within the report are something worthy of investigation or at least consideration by committees. What do you think of that approach? Well, well, think about this. For, for the last two and a half years, we have heard morning, noon, and night from the Democrats and the media that the president was an agent of Russia who coordinated with that hostile government to overturn our elections process every single day. Well, now we know definitively that that was a deliberate lie. It was concocted by the Clinton campaign. It was used by our government first to influence the election, and, and when that failed, to undermine the legitimately elected president and tear this country apart. Well, now we have the Mueller report. It's, it, uh, uh, all of these charges of Russian collusion conclusively repudiated by the facts. So what are the Democrats doing? Well, they're now attempting to concoct a new lie that the, the president obstructed justice, which is a conclusion that the Mueller report does not make. The, the, the charges they're attempting to make are, are, are based on a man who's been wrongly accused, literally of treason, blowing off steam behind closed doors over the injustice of it. But it's hard to charge obstruction of justice when there was no underlying crime, there was no assertion of executive privilege, and over a million documents were turned over willingly to the investigators. Now, now compare this to Hillary Clinton who destroyed 30,000 emails under subpoena, going so far as to destroy hard drives. And then you begin to get a sense of the double standard that's involved. Uh, so these other guests have told you that they're expecting uh, Mr. Bar the Attorney General to appear before the committee. They also want Robert Mueller to appear before the committee. Should those gentlemen appear, what's, uh, what do you think they're, the treatment they'll get from Democrats? And what do you want to ask them about this report? Well, I think the other shoe's about to drop in the Russia investigation. Uh, like I said, this country's been dragged through two and a half years of these now completely discredited charges of Russian collusion. Um, uh, and now I think it is time to ask, uh, who were the senior officials in the Justice Department, the FBI, and the intelligence agencies uh, who knew this dossier was phony, knew it was concocted by the Clinton campaign, and yet used it anyway to spy on the Trump campaign, to, to influence our presidential election, and then when they lost anyway, they used it for the last two years to undermine the president uh, and, and challenge the legitimacy of, of our democracy. Um, I, I think now is the time uh, of, uh, to receive the inspector general reports, identify the corrupt officials who are responsible, and bring them to justice. Do I believe that the House Judiciary Committee uh, under Jerry Nadler and ultimately under Nancy Pelosi are going to do so? Not a chance. But I do have high hopes that the Senate Judiciary Committee under Lindsey Graham is going to be picking up this investigation now uh, and, and turning, a, uh, turning over all of the rocks at the Justice Department, at the FBI, uh, and at our intelligence agency. Uh, and begin to hold these people accountable for what they've done to our country. Uh, the chairman of your committee has issued a subpoena for the unredacted report. Uh, are, are you supportive of that act? Look, I supported the independent counsel before Mueller was appointed. Uh, precisely because I wanted to get to the bottom of all this and that I felt that a, 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 a neutral, independent investigation was the best way to do so. Uh, I was quite confident in the um, uh, 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 innocence of the president, of, uh, so I supported the independent counsel. And yes, I'd like to see as much of that report released as possible, but what I don't want to see happen is uh, uh, ongoing investigations into the corrupt officials responsible for this two-and-a-half-year Russian hoax uh, 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 have anything happen that, that, that would interfere with that investigation. Uh, do you think that it's possible that you'll be able, or at least uh, your committee and others, will be able to not only deal with issues found in the Mueller report, but also issues of policy matters? We've had several callers this morning, uh, even some with concerns, that the business of government will stop because of these investigations. Well, I, I, it is clear to me that the Democrats have been obsessed over this president since the day he was elected, uh, in fact, before he was elected. 
Um, uh, I think that they're going to do everything that they possibly can to undermine this presidency they already have. But I think now their credibility is completely shot. Um, uh, I, I think your caller's concerns are, are correct. I think this is what they're obsessing on, and I think this is what they're going to focus on uh, for the remaining time of this uh, congressional session. Um, and if people don't like that, um, my advice would be to be a little more careful about the votes you cast in the next election. Representative Tom McClintock, a member of the Jude Judiciary committee met and also the Republican from California who serves the 4th District. Thank you for your time, sir. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, we have about 12 minutes left until